You guys have no idea how upset I am right now. Hey, Silver, what's wrong? This time. Well, I just got back from my, from my class, from the college I go to, to get a good education for myself, to get a good job later on. Okay, Silver, we get it. You go to school. You saying it over and over again is not going to make us care. Well, in class, we were talking about these vocab words for books and stuff and what they mean. Yeah. And, well, we were talking about them, and I just got so confused on these words. How? Well, for one thing, I'm surprised your voice sounds like a man. But, and another thing, is just, I've, I'm so confused of the difference of fiction and non-fiction. Wait a second. When did Blaze get here? Listen. We were talking about all these words, like non-fiction, fiction, simile, metaphor, foreshadowing, all that stuff. Wait, you're learning this in college? What kind of school do you go to? School for the mentally impaired? Wait. What's foreshadowing? You know, when someone tells you something in the book that le that actually uh, gives you a hint of what's going to happen in the future. That's kind of stuff. Oh, so if I said I was going to kill you, would that be foreshadowing? No, Shadow. That would be a threat. Hey, I turn my back for two seconds and you're gone. Whoa, Rouge. What's wrong with your voice? Why? What do you mean? What is wrong with my voice? Well, it's just that you kind of sound like the wife of the mo monarch from Venture Brothers. Who the hell are the Venture Brothers? What? You don't know who the Venture Brothers are? God, why did we start dating in the first place? Because you lost that bet at the pub. I told you you couldn't drink 30 glasses of beer in 10 seconds. Hey. I would have done anything to get out of that bet. I would have even killed Silver. Hey! Wait, Silver, was that foreshadowing? No, Shadow. That was still a threat. You're right. This stuff is complicated. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, now I see. But I still have to kill you. Wait. What? 